Nancy Gerpik was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia on September 24, 1961. At 13 years old, Nancy Gerpik had our country on her shoulders in the world of swimming. He emerged as a force in the world of swimming at an age when most athletes only began to explore their potential. Nancy was a swimmer for the Halifax Trojan swim team that is still around today. In four months, she climbed from 38th in the world in the 200 meter backstroke to the world record holder. At the 1975 World Aquatic Championships in Cali, Colombia, Nancy won a silver medal in the 200 meter backstroke and a bronze medal in the 100 meter backstroke. At the age of 13 in 1975, she set a world record in the 200 meter backstroke and Canadian and Olympic records in the 100 meter backstroke. She represented Canada in the 1976 Montreal Olympics. At the Olympics, she won a bronze medal in 100 meter and 200 meter backstroke. She left the Olympics as Canada's only double medalist with bronze in two backstroke events. In 1975, at age 14, she became the youngest athlete honored as Canada's Female Athlete of the Year by being awarded the Bobby Rosenfeld Award. In 1979, at the Pan American Games in San Juan, Puerto Rico, she won silver medals in the 200 individual medley and in a relay event while winning bronze medals in the 100 meter butterfly, 200 meter butterfly, and the 400 individual medley. In 2008, she was inducted into Canada's Sports Hall of Fame. Facts where Nancy Gerbeck comes from have sent her a telegram of good wishes 27 feet long for that 100 meter backstroke event about to begin at the pool. At one point, she held the world record in the 200 meter backstroke then East Germany's Bridget Triber came along, and Nancy garapek has been running a close second ever since. Still, if anyone can put it together tonight, it's this tough young teenager from Halifax. Swimming and make it better. And, you know, really, going to practice every morning and night is part of your routine. So if you stop it, like, if you get sick for a while, you really miss it. Well, sometimes when you work out, you get frustrated, you know, because your stroke isn't feeling right or something, and you have to get here. You do this right, and you just have to make yourself think. Sometimes you just feel like stopping and getting up and walking out and you say, no, get going, and you just have to work harder. Because you really only have once in a lifetime to make the Olympics, because there's other kids coming up four years later. So you really have to work hard. 